What's up, my mathletes? That's right, Mr. Muscarella coming at you. And in this video, we're going to take a look at finding trig ratios using a graphing calculator. So let's go ahead and grab some notes, a pencil, and a graphing utility, and let's go. So let's take a look at this first one. So we're going to start with some trigonometry problems here. And this is really important to make sure that your calculator is in the degree mode. So that's very, very important. Now there's three buttons we'll work with here, the sine button, the cosine, and the tangent button. So they give you ratios. And remember, ratios are just fractions or a comparison of two side lengths in a right triangle for trigonometry. So all we're going to do is basically just type in these values, sine 25. So first, let's go to TI-84 graphing calculator. If you're using this, you hit the mode button and you'll see that degree is what is selected right there. So if you're to type in sine of 30 using a graphing calculator, you just hit the sine button and type in 30 for 30, close the parentheses, and boom, there you go, you get 0.5. Now, if you want that as a fraction, you just hit the math button, and the first choice is frac, so you math frac that, that'll change that answer to a fraction, so we know that the sine of 30 is 1 half or 0.5. Now, if we were using Desmos, so let's check out what Desmos would look like. So again, you have a couple options here. Now, on the main menu, you see over here on the left-hand side, the sine, the cos, and the tangent. So you just hit the sign button, type in 30. Then over on the right side of the screen, you'll see your answer show up there. Again, if you want that to be in a fraction form, you just simply hit that little button right there on the right, and it'll hit that. Now, if, however, you are using the Desmos graphing calculator, notice if I just type in sine of 30, it gets all wonky. It doesn't give me one half. It gives me that negative 0.09, blah, 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 blah. Yucky, yucky. So what you're going to do is go over to the wrench over here on the right. And you'll notice down at the bottom, it says radians is what's uh, colored in there. So you want to make sure you select that and hit degrees. And then, whoa, check it out. It changes to that 0.5. And again, if we want that as a fraction... Then we just hit that little fraction bar right there on the left-hand side of the screen. Boom, and it'll change that to a fraction for you automatically. So this is how you're going to use a graphing utility to figure out the sine, the cosine, or the tangent of an angle. So you've got some problems here to go ahead and practice on your own. So 1 through 18, go ahead, give you a couple minutes, knock those out of the park, park push the buttons, and then be sure you come on back to watch part two, where we'll finish the other part of it where you'll use the arc sine, arc cosine, or arc tangent buttons because on this we already have the ratio so we're going to find an angle using those buttons on your graphing utility. Until then, I'll catch up with you later. Make it a great day. Peace out.